If your child's got difficulties attending and concentrating, it's important to have consistency. Now, most parents are consistently inconsistent. It's really difficult to be consistent all the time. But what we need to do is make sure that things like homework times are at the same time each day. If your child finds it very difficult to get settled, then try to have a study area at home where they can work every time in the same place so you're not changing it from day to day. Try and have the same time of day as well so they know that five o'clock is when they do their homework. And also make sure all the kit is ready. So if they need rulers, pens, pencils and a glass of water, because usually children want to get up and get a glass of water as soon as they sit down to do their homework, make sure all that's there before you bring your child to the table. Also, if you've got an opportunity, is to read through what they need to do for their homework before they get started, so you know and you're prepared, rather than starting to do that when your child's sitting there and they lose concentration and you've lost them and they've got up and left the table again. So preparation is really key to making sure your child can concentrate and is organised. Make sure the setting is quiet, so it's not the thoroughfare for all your kids and everybody else coming through the house all at the same time. And so a quiet setting might be helpful for your child. Some children seem to be helped with background music on. Other children are much better in a very quiet setting. And you need to see what's best for your child. Try out different things and see what works for you and your child as well. Try to make sure that the um, homework session isn't too long. Most of us really can't concentrate for more than sort of 10 or 15 minutes at a time. So break it into chunks. We're going to work for 15 minutes and you might use a timer to help your child to see when 15 minutes is up they can have a little break. Not too long a break because it might be difficult to bring them back on task. But break it up into settings. This is what we're going to achieve in this next hour in four sets of 15 minutes with a couple of minutes break in between. So make it achievable and the child knows what they've got to do and you might write it out even like a visual timetable so the child can see where they are as they move through this process, really praising and supporting them as they stay on task. It does mean that you might need to be their personal assistant keeping them on task during this time because doing it on their own might be too difficult to start with.